I'm all like this, eh? <laughs> I greet you specially. Anywhere where they watch this video from. Hey, how your day they go now? Hope to everywhere, everything they go sing, eh, man. Give a to I beg. <laughs> normally, normally, now, now they run them on to my three sharp updates we need to hear today. So, they do, they do, so they do them every day by day. Sharply, sharply, we enter the matter we carry us come today. The first of the way we carry me come today. So, as I carry my keke enter inside the street of the social media. <laughs> As I walk out, they go, let me go. Where they stop? Now say, ah, Reno Mokri. When I go and let Peter Abidri quarter drop cup, he don't bust out again. Now, yes, now, nah. Reno Mokri don't bust out also, man. He said, this more bad matter, so where they trend for everywhere. He said, like, say, now, nah, during election campaign time, so this matter thing happen. He said, Peter will be for the fall out, go visit uh, Mobad family based on one or two, on two campaign lifestyle. He said, as we say, election don't pass now, and I make Peter be lock up like Akon. Now, waiting, you know, more quick talk. Turn on the bang one, back on. <laughs> as, as, as I see that gist, people did that they, they throw blow, both articulated, but if everybody did they throw blow, but the matter, if I say the matter, they argue. Now, dodge, 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 dodge. Now, I carry my keke drive, go front to me, and if I don't bust my eye while they manage you. <laughs> as I drive, go front, you again, find out to the apple, and I be, hey, where they stop? Now, I say, ha. Like this, like this, so. Nigerians now nah, don't come and now nah, don't they blaster blaster a me local uh, chief of staff now nah, they call a chief of staff auto the gist way boss are yesterday based on the uh, license where America revoke no say yes they have a drop out the same America don't revoke a uh, Femi Bajabia Mila a law license auto say they say it's chief money for that side so one or two of the dusty boss are now told to say the blaster blaster. How many people the blaster blaster the guys say for this matter like this? So if I to beg <laughs> from there, oh, people see the quarter, they throw people they throw their own, they throw stone, the blast the guys, they throw stone. Now, nah, don't cover my head, cover my head. Now, nah, I say, ah, I see guests more for now. Nah, say, maybe for not finish, maybe for reach me, enter the social media tomorrow, make her go my answer. Jelly, as I want you to come up inside the gate again. So now, I be good when they saw master say, all day go fall out. <laughs> WHO don't bring a warm to concerning hypertension, that's high BP. <laughs> uh, they say one in every three, uh, three in every four adults this gets this hypertension, this BP matter. So, where you do you will they wash me so you don't check your BP? You don't check your BP. Now, what I say, too young, go check and make you know me go feel the control and more habit. Whenever they get issue one or two, if at all. Look. Oh, yeah, now, this is a more study matter proper, proper, now in details. The way young people they talk about it. Y'all do me one small favor. Anyway, they watch this video from. Let me share the video. Make another person see him. So that anybody who they watch this video, we get interest for this kind of matter. What they talk for years so Make they for feel see him. Make they call follow this page if at all. We go start with the first G. So we say Reno Mockery. Don't they talk one or two? Cause any Peter will be say Peter will be all those guys. Eh, this kind of same. Now during election time, say for don't fall out to listen and be blessed. He say former presidential media aide Reno Mockery has claimed that Peter will be. Flag bearer of the Labour Party in the 2023 presidential election would have visited the family of fast rising artist Mubad if there was an upcoming election. Mubad died last Tuesday after reportedly receiving injection for an ear infection and was buried in Ikorodu, Lagos on Wednesday. Since the news of his demise was made public, celebrities, fans, and other Nigerians have continued to react to the shocking death. Weighing in, Omokri said if the uh, incident had happened before the presidential election, Obi would have paid Mubat's family a visit. He stated this in a post via X, formerly known as Twitter, on Monday night. Sadly, the truth is that if this were before the election, Peter Obi would have visited Mubat's family by now. He would have posted about it. He may have even uh, shed some crocodile tears and perhaps donated some money. But the election is over and Mubad is not from a certain part of Nigeria. He is not a member of the Labour Party or an obedient. So there is no need for Peter Obi to even pretend that he cares, he said. Daily Trust report that Oomoki has been a critic of Obi on social media. Before the general election, the campaign team of the uh, Labour Party accused the former presidential aide of using the party's candidate name to remain relevant in social media. The Obi campaign team named Obidati movement in a statement had described Omokri as a frustrated man. Bakan. 
I'm okay. Where you come here? I'm following you. Where they worry you? Why be say? You know, if you arrest for Peter or be matter. Eh, na, she be election doesn't pass. Okay, your candidate too, you say you support your election. Article, you article don't go see him. Even the press will be say they put for us rock now, so you don't go see him. Peter be the Bangladesh, the national assignment for Commonwealth Conference for Bang Bangladesh. They deliver a polling there based on big name way big. They call they call they drag Peter be like saying Jane. Where you take your time, oh? I beg you. Also the psychologist on the day, which is uh, according to the headline here, say. Chief of staff. This is his roast Tinibu's chief of staff. But Jabia Mila for theft. Law license revocation in the US. Listen to the details now. It says Nigerian cybernauts have continued to knock Femi by Jabia Mila, President Bala Tinibu's chief of staff, over an, uh, an expose on his heist in the United States of America. The People's Gazette on Monday dug into Mr. Gwajami Amila's dubious past as a legal practitioner in Georgia, exposing how uh, the state bar of Georgia terminated his law license for stealing money from clients and violating membership rules. Mr. Gwajami Amila, who was the Speaker of the House of Reps until June 2023, had previously stolen money from a client in the US and was punished in 2007 by the Georgia Supreme Court, but he offended again, leading to the revocation of his law practice in the state. He can no longer practice law in the state of Georgia, an official told the Gazette. He's done. The report saw Mr. Bajabia Miller's name trend on X, formerly known as Twitter, throughout Monday and into the early hours of Tuesday, sparking reactions with many labeling him thief of staff. In mockery of his current official position as the chief of staff of the president of Africa's most populous nation. An ex user, Ike, said, Chineke, chief of staff, is actually chief of staff in Dioshi, everywhere reacting to Mr. Bajabia Miller's law license revocation by US panel over legal infractions. Sharing a screenshot of the Gazette expose on Mr. Bajabia Miller, Cardinal wrote, Hello, chief of staff. Can you honorably resign and save our nation this embarrassment? <laughs> Nigeria, African man, resign. Nigeria, God resign for office. <laughs> it's a joke. Another ex user said, Anytime I see Femi Bajabia Mila train, it is not always for something good. If it's not for corruption, it will be oppression. Is chief of staff now the same as chief of staff? The, the blood is flowing from their principal. Hmm. Reacting to the same story, what happened said, Chief of Staff, can the President just show diligence and sack these uh, vermin surrounding him, but well, he is their leader. While many berated Mr. Bajabia Miller and called for his resignation, some believed the Chief of Staff would not resign his job over the expose because corruption thrives in Nigeria. Danerega tweeted, Femi Bajabia Miller is the current Chief of Staff now that the u.s legal panel has reportedly terminated his law license over violating bar rules will the fg make an example of him that's the problem yakubo has been called out repeatedly by nigerians but he's still in office now i'm gonna say if they make an example make a bend this is government of the criminals by criminals and for the criminals criminocracy mm. however mr bajabia miller who declined to answer questions on his stealing client money and the final uh, revocation of his law practice in the US when reached by the Gazette has yet to make any statement even as criticisms and calls for his resignation continue to make his name trend on X. Similarly, the president has kept mum over the story exposing Mr. Bajabia Miller stealing in the US. Now why? Now why? Which kind of government with this one? Everybody just get one or two things for neck for neck. But for those of them with the space, this guy go resign. When I just forget, just come on mind. Just remove your mind, remove your mind. No, don't they resign for Nigeria? No. Nigeria has to resign. Also, our last G's, which is say one in three adults suffer from hypertension. WHO. Listen and be blessed. He said the World Health Organization has released its first ever reports on the devastating global impact of high blood pressure along with recommendations on the ways to win the race against the disease. The report made available on Tuesday showed approximately 4 out of every 5 
people with hypertension are not adequately treated. It said that if countries could scale up coverage, 76 million deaths could be averted between 2023 and 2050. According to the report, hypertension affects one in three adults worldwide as the deadly condition leads to stroke, heart attack, heart failure, kidney damage, and, other, and many other problems. The number of people with, uh, living with hypertension doubled between 1990 and uh, 2019 from 650 million to 1.3 billion. Yeah. Nearly half of the people with hypertension globally are currently unaware of their condition. More than three quarters of adults with hypertension live in low and middle income countries. Older age and genetics can increase the risk of having high blood pressure, but modifiable risk factors such as eating high salt diet, not being physically active, and drinking too much alcohol can also increase the risk of hypertension. Lifestyle changes like eating a healthier diet, quitting tobacco, and being more active can help lower blood pressure. Some people may need medicines that can control hypertension effectively and prevent related complications, it said. It said that prevention, early detection, and effective management of hypertension are among the most effective interventions in healthcare and should be prioritized by countries as part of their national health benefit package offered at a primary healthcare level. The report said that the economic benefit of improved hypertension treatment programs outweigh the cost by about 18 to 1. Now, wow, I beg, go check your blood pressure and you wanna try the, the, uh, the exercise once in a while, reduce salt on your food according to the they talk. They say, now nah, update at the call bring, and nah, not call beat me put. Anyway, just thank God for everything.